I feel like you're trouble. I feel like you've got a naughty streak to you. <laughs> yes, mate, how are we doing? Welcome back to the channel with yours truly, Christian. In this video, we are gonna watch an interaction between me and a beautiful older woman in Chelsea, all right? So this interaction came about mm, 20 minutes after that initial uncut session that I posted previously. If you've not watched that video, Link at the end of this one. Now what I want to draw particular attention to in this video is something that my clients really struggle with and you may well struggle with this yourself and it's turning your conversations from social to seductive. All right, you may find it in your interactions where you feel like the vibe is just too friendly, you don't feel like you're creating any sexual chemistry. So. Before we get into it, make sure you pat the Christian Casanova family, smashing that subscribe button, banging those sexy notifications on, and drop this video a big fat fucking like. All right, so to spread the fucking value, I'm gonna watch this interaction along with you and supply you with all the key points to take away to skyrocket your seduction. Sweet. Excuse me. Hi. I'm not trying sure to sell you anything before you walk away. Uh, I just wanted to say your style is very, very interesting. So you dress very well today, which I appreciate. There's a pink, the pink bobble hat on your head. It looks good on you. Whereabouts are you from? I'm from Latvia. All right, man. So initially, the interaction starts off a bit shaky. I approach her. She looks like she's just going to walk off. But what I do to salvage the situation is I use my words I use my body language, okay? So, you know, I'm like, not trying to sell you anything before you walk away. And it's that before you walk away part, which is coupled with a very invitational, carefree type of vibe. Yeah, I'm not being needy with it. I'm, being, I'm not being like, oh my God, please stop. Otherwise, my soul's going to be destroyed. It's like, you know, my body language is very lighthearted. It's like, you're before you go. And, you know, by, by saying this, you know, you can say before you go, before you walk away, before you disappear. You recognize that the woman may well be about to leave the interaction and you're calling that shit out, you know, before you go. Um, and usually there's enough curiosity there to pull her back. And then what's really important, like just get straight into the reason why I've approached her, yeah? So if you stop a woman and she looks like she's about to walk off, simply say, oh, before you go, and then get straight into it. You know, I just want to tell you, you look good, you've got an interesting style, you've got an elegant walk. Whatever the fuck it is, just get straight to the point. From Latvia, yeah. what are you doing here? Enjoy last last hours in London. The last hours? Mm. Well, where are you running away to? Um, sorry? Where are you going to? When? Where? You're going where? back to Latvia? Yes, tomorrow. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. How have you found London? Nice. Just nice. You ready to go home? I, I was, um... All right, so the conversation on the surface is pretty flat up to this point, all right? There's just like a string of questions that I'm spurting out. She's not giving much back. However, it's these like questions which enable the conversation to eventually flourish. Like I'm just throwing shit out there until I get an indicator that she's settled into the conversation until I get to the point where I feel like she's socially hooked. And after the, just this string of basic questions, she eventually does. Like this here is the moment, yeah? So she shifts the weight of her body, hand goes into a pocket, and then she starts to invest into the conversation by telling a story about herself. Like this bit here is really key. Like oftentimes guys, especially beginners, will get nervous if the woman who they're speaking with isn't giving much back. But you know, man, you have to remember as well that because this is a socially unorthodox activity, women themselves, they get nervous, all right? You don't know where her head is at in the moment. She may well need time to get socially warmed up to the encounter. So it's your job as a man to initiate the interaction, but also marinate in the interaction. Just keep throwing shit out there until you feel like she's comfortable in the conversation. I came on like yesterday evening. So I was in Br Bristol. Oh, was it? Yeah. How was Bristol for you? I nice feel, I, student, uh, city. I could, I could imagine you in Bristol. Because right. Bristol's quite a stylish city. It's got a good vibe to it. So I feel like you would fit in there quite well. No, you know, it's, uh, it's just simply a student city. I, actually, I didn't like because, uh, no, I didn't like this night, nightlife, but yes, city, 
to do in life. So it was nice. Yeah. So you think you'll come back to England or have you had enough now? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? It's not first time no? in the UK, yeah. You must like it. And you, what are you doing? On the street. On the street. Catch what? Uh, girls. <laughs> I mean, you're my favourite so far. <laughs> All right, so let's explore how this interaction turns from social to seductive, all right? It's all about the non-verbals. It's not so much what I'm saying, but how I'm saying it. And to break this down into really specific points, three things, eye contact, vocal tonality, body language. So first of all, eye contact. Like eye contact is a massive part of my personal seduction, okay? It's the way that I'm looking at her. You can you can see this for yourself in loads of my interactions with women. And women will often comment how my eye contact is intense or my eye contact is good or how I've got a strong presence. It's all about the way I'm looking at women, okay? So you wanna be looking at women as though you desire them, yeah? Like when I'm speaking with a woman who I'm really attracted to, I'm laser focused on her, yeah? It's like for that moment, like the rest of the world is irrelevant and she feels it. She feels that masculine energy, man to woman. And this intense eye contact, it makes her feel witness. And when a woman feels witness, she feels sexy. And that's what you want. You want women to feel sexy in your company. You look, you make the eye contact, but you also know when to break the eye contact as well, yeah? It's a skill. It's something that you can practice throughout your day-to-day -day life. But what's very important is that you know when to break it. You don't want to just be having like 100% intense eye contact because it can just feel a bit fucking weird. And then the vocal tonality, okay? So much about taking your conversation from social to seductive is learning to cultivate a lower vocal tonality, all right? So I've been a magician for 10 years and I understand the importance of delivery and manipulating your vocal tonality to match the mood of the moment. Like really practical, you want your delivery to be slow and controlled, yeah? So you're making that magnetic eye contact and everything hits that lower vocal tonality. So the energy is grounded, you're controlled, you're not rushed, you're not frantic, you're not hectic and she feels this seductive magnetism. And then finally, body language, okay? Like so many guys who I work with, even guys who've been doing this for a long time, have terrible body language. And it's something that I call out very early on in our sessions. Like you have to carry yourself like you own your reality because the way you carry yourself projects how you feel about yourself. And women are very receptive to how a guy carries himself. It says so much about a person, the way they walk into a room, okay? You've probably heard things before like, oh, when he walks into a room, the whole room lights up. It's to do with this presence, okay? It's to do with how you carry yourself. So, you know, watch, watch my interactions, not just this one, but all of my interactions. Look how I carry myself. I'm very still, okay? I'm not fidgeting. This is something that, you know, a lot of beginners will do. You may feel it yourself if you're new to this, you're in your interaction, you're not really, you're not really quite sure what to do or how to stand. Imagine you're a mountain, all right? Imagine you are a rock solid mountain. You are undisturbed, you are unfazed by the external elements. Um, I think that's a good, um, a good simile, yeah? You are like a mountain. Uh, and you'll notice in this interaction as well, like she's the one who's fidgeting. You know, this is what you want. You want the woman uh, to be the one who's been more reactive, whether that be in her movement, in what she's saying. Be the fucking mountain. What's your name? Senor. Christian. Christian? Christian, yeah. Mm. Spelled with a K. Yeah, my, my son name is... Your son? Yes. Yeah, You've got children? Yeah. What's your secret? You look very well. Yeah. Yeah, how many children have you got? One. Just the one? My mum is the same. She just has the one. Yeah. So my relationship with my mum is very strong. So I'm an only child, so I'm sure you can relate. <laughs> I think it's uh, difficult for you, yes. Why? Uh, because you are only one child for your mother. And, and usually I said my son, you will be most important man in my life. All my life. So yeah. I will check you. You will check. You will look after. You will look after him. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And you? What? About your relationship with mother? Yeah, very, very strong. Yeah. We have quite intense arguments sometimes. Yeah. But it's because we love each other, and I would do anything for her because she's done a lot for me. And you, you respect it. Yeah. Yeah.
All right, so this is the point in the conversation where everything hits a deeper emotional level, all right? So commonality is one of the greatest ways to establish rapport, all right? You connect with women, with people, through shared experiences. You know, so here we connect through our relationships with important people in our lives. So she talks to me about her son, I talk to her about my mum, I'm an only child, she's only got one child as well, and I don't know, there's just this very natural dynamic uh, that gets created. It's just very relatable. And this isn't, you know, this isn't a technique, this isn't some like trick, it's just very, it's very, it's very authentic experience, very uh, authentic encounter where it's just like a no bullshit type of thing. Like I get completely what she's saying, she gets completely what I'm saying, and yeah, it's this shared experience, this understanding of each other that allows us to hit that deeper level. So, you know, when you're speaking with women and you find areas of commonality, explore them. Like, they don't have to be exactly the same thing. Like, maybe you're both passionate about something. Maybe, I don't know, she's passionate about music and you're passionate about fucking Dungeons and Dragons. You connect because you're both passionate about something, or it doesn't have to be the same thing you connect through the emotion. And if you wanna explore this concept of creating deeper connections with women, then I have dedicated a separate video to it, which I'll link at the end of this one. Well, what are you doing anyway on your phone? You, you look like you're looking for somewhere. Yeah, no, just, uh, it's my it's map, London map. It's your route? Yes. Or are you uh, going to the theater? Yes. What are you doing in the theater? I'm gonna watch a show. Musical today will be. A musical? Yes. Sounds exciting. Are you going with your son or with your husband? No, alone. You're on your own, yeah? Because I'm in London alone. You're in London all on your own? Mm -hmm. oh, sad times. What are you going to do? <laughs> mm. I feel like you're trouble. I feel like you've got a naughty streak to you. <laughs> Alright, so right here we have this eruption of playful energy. Yeah, She's an older woman, but I'm making her feel young. I'm making her feel alive. I'm making her feel sexy. I'm saying like, I think she's got a naughty streak. I bet she's trouble, all right? And it's it's playfully polarizing the interaction. It's man to woman. It's like, you know, I see you and I find you attractive and I'm gonna make you feel giddy, all right? And it's just one of the greatest gifts you can give to older women is to flirt with them like they're younger women, yeah? And it's, I don't know, it's seductive rocket fuel, man. If you've done this yourself, if you've flirted, if you've had experience with older women, you'll know how much they appreciate a young guy flirting with them. And this all adds to that sexual chemistry, it's the flirtation, it's the teasing, all right? So, you know, feel free in your interactions to, you know, tease girls, be like, I think you're trouble, I bet you've got a naughty streak, I bet you're trouble behind closed doors, however you wanna say it. Like, yes, you need to be calibrated, yes, you need to pick up on the energy, um, you don't want to just be going in there <laughs> in your open being like, hey, you look like trouble. I mean, you can do if you are a fucking sensei of this stuff, but you know, if you're a beginner, baby step that shit. If you are struggling with shit, then you know what to do, man. Just drop me an email, ukdaygame at gmail.com. Well, listen, I, um, I appreciate you need to do things and you've got a busy day to go to the theater all on your own, but um, I think you're a very attractive woman. And another time I would like to take you out for a drink. <laughs> what do you say to that? If you drop me your number, I'll send you a mess one message and then you can do whatever you want with that message. I can give you my uh, Instagram phone and you will send something. Have you got an English phone number? No, I don't know. You don't have an English phone number? You've got a Latvian number? Well, drop us your Latvian number and I'll send you a message. Use what, sir? So, plus 371. Plus... Three, seven, one. Okay. Do you remember my name? Christian. You're good. I will send you a message and then you can do whatever you want with that message. You gonna give me a hug? Okay, ciao. Ciao. Have a lovely day. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. So yeah, man. Um, there's with this interaction, it went from shaky 
to social to seductive very quickly. Like, I think this interaction only lasted like four minutes, but within that time frame, I was able to create a lot of investment, a lot of sexual chemistry, and I don't know, I hope you get inspired by this. Like, you don't need to have those long, blown out interactions in order to create a lot of investment. If you are going around, you know, these high end areas like Chelsea, like, don't be intimidated by it. Like, we're all just fucking people at the end of the day. I appreciate it can all feel a little bit like, oh, fucking hell, this all feels a bit much. But, you know, approach, be confident, be sure in your own ability as a guy. And like I always say, man, if you're struggling with shit, drop me a fucking email, go onto my website, all the details and stuff are on there, you know, cool, nice one. <laughs> Like the video as well, man. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment, the cozy comments. Do all the good shit. Uh, sound like <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, man. It can sound like it's a fucking chainsaw outside. Anyway, nice one. Stay sexy. Live legendary. Ta. -da. You stay sexy, okay?